In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use AWS Poly Text to Speech API to convert text to realistic human speech in Python. AWS Poly is a cloud service provided by Amazon to convert text into lifelike speech. It allows developers to create applications that can talk and build entirely new categories of products. Some of the things you can do with Poly such as content creation, voice enable application, customer service, and many more uh, different use cases. Now, before diving into the tutorial, I want to quickly talk about the pricing. Now, as a new user, you are eligible for the free tier, which is you get 1 million characters uh, for free every month for the first 12 months. And after the free tier is expired, now based on the uh, voice type that you use, for the standard voice, it's going to be $4 per 1 million characters. And for the neural voice, it's going to be $16 per 1 million characters. And for the long form voices, so basically long form voices is going to be uh, using machine algorithm to figure out the pitch in the speech. And that's going to be $100 per 1 million characters. And here's uh, different examples when it comes to the usage. And here are the examples to figure out the pricing based on different use cases. Now, if I want to experiment poly, AWS console has a built-in interface that you can play around with it. So here, let's uh, do it from scratch. So basically, you want to navigate to poly. Now, make sure that you set the region to US East 2 if you are from the US region. Let me select uh, US East 2. And the reason why you want to use US East 1 region is because only that region supports all types of uh, voices. And let's look at the uh, region compatibilities. These are going to be the regions that support all different types of voices. If you are in the Asian countries, then these are all the available regions that you can use to access three different types of uh, voice types. Now, since this is a Python tutorial, now let me launch my VS Code. If you are new to AWS API, I have a video cover how to set up your API access, and you can find the link in the description below. Now for this tutorial, I'm going to show you two examples. The first example is going to save the audio as an MP3 file. And the second example is going to play the audio directly from the script itself. All right, so these are going to be the libraries that I'll be using. To access AWS services, you need to use Bodo Tree Python package. The first thing I'm going to show you is how we can list the voices. Now let me import the libraries first. Oh, and let me install the package. All right, so let me import the libraries again. Then I'm going to create the list voices function. Then I'll create my poly client instance. Now I can run the list voices function to return all the available voices, and that should quite many. Now let's say I want to convert this uh, text string here. Why don't skeletons fight each other? because they don't have the guts. To generate the audio file, it's a two-step process. All right, so first we need to use the Polly's uh, client instance. Then we need to use the synthesized speech method. Inside the method, we need to specify the engine. And you have three choices, neural, standard, and long form. Then I'm going to specify the language code. And for the output, I'm going to uh, set that to MP3. Then we need to choose the voice. And voice ID and voice name are essentially the same. Then we can supply the text. Now I'm going to create the response. OK, let me create the input text first. Then I'm going to make a request to return the audio stream. And step two is going to extract or retrieve the audio stream from the response. So here we're going to check if the audio stream key is in the response dictionary object. 
So if I print response in this one, the regular slide, essentially this is just like a regular request. And we have this audio stream key value pair. And the audio is stored in this uh, streaming body object right here. Now, when we reference the response audio stream object, we also need to close the stream once we uh, finish fetching the audio data. So here I'm using the uh, closing context function to automatically close the string once we finish with our uh, statements. So here I can say, we're closing response audio stream as string. Then I'm going to define my file path. Then I'm going to save the file as an audio file. And we can load the audio data by referencing stream diary. Then write the uh, binary to the file itself. Then we go ahead and run this uh, procedure here. And I'll create the audio demo mp3 file. Now, if I play the audio, I don't think you can hear the audio because my system uh, sound is turned off. But I get the idea. Now let's go into the audio example, which is to play the audio directly from your PC. To play the audio directly from your PC while saving as a media file, there are two libraries that I'll be using. And for some reason, uh, these two libraries didn't get installed. All right, so let me go ahead and install those two libraries. The PyAudio module is going to be used to play the audio. And the PyDub uh, library is going to be used to create the audio in segments. All right, so let me go ahead and import the libraries. Let me try again. For some reason, it's not recognizing the libraries. Uh, here, let me try again. Okay, I see I may have uh, created two identical environments for some reason. Anyway, uh, so here I create a function called play audio from bytes. And we're going to pass the audio byte string to this function to play the audio. And if we look at the setup, so basically using audio segment uh, from file, we can use io.bytes.io to store the uh, audio bytes data, kind of like a file format in memory. Then we're going to specify the audio format to MP3. Then I need to set the channel to channel one. And to play the audio, we need to retrieve the raw data from the audio object, and I'll save the output's audio raw data. Then I'm going to create an instance of PyAudio object. Then I'm going to open the audio stream using PyAudio. So here I'm going to say Py.open, and I'll specify the audio file format using get format from width, then audio.simplewidth. Then we need to supply the channel and the frame rate of the audio, and we'll set the output true. Then from the stream object, we can play the audio by using the write method, and we'll provide the audio raw stream. And once we finish playing the audio, we need to terminate the audio uh, instance. And to use the function, we'll simply create instance of the poly object. Then we'll define the input text, and from poly synthesize speech, we need to specify the voice and the output to MP3. Then we need to uh, enter the text that we want to convert into audio uh, format. Then we'll store the audio byte string into this uh, audio bytes object. Then using play audio from bytes function, we'll pass the audio bytes raw string. And let me save this file to demo2.py. If I play the file, now I just ran the Python script and I think that, like I said before, my system audio is uh, turned off. So right now there's no audio coming out. But this is going to be the tutorial and hopefully you guys find this video useful. If you have any question or any feedback, feel free to post it in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.